Hey guys, it's Mark. Today we start building our camper van subfloor. I'll show you what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're going to do it. So stay with us. So when Tani and I were first considering how to build the subfloor, we kind of made a list of do's and don'ts for it. Uh, one of the things we don't want is we don't want to put any more holes in the floor of the van. We will take advantage of the tie down bolts that are here, uh, but we don't want to create any additional holes. We figure anytime you create another hole, you've got the potential for rust, you've got the potential for water to get in, so we're not going to do that. Um, another thing we had to consider was we've got these huge dips in the floor. I don't know if the previous owner dropped something in there or, or parked something in there that eventually caved the floor down. I tried to bang it out from underneath, but it's really close to a framing member and I really couldn't get anywhere. So we're going to have to work around that. So we also want to make sure that anything we put in the van on top of the subfloor has a good foundation to, for us to drill into or to screw into. So we didn't want to have anything too flimsy underneath. So we came up with a couple of different options and we finally, I'll show you the one we've settled on. So the first one we thought about was, can we glue this directly to the surface of the, of the van? I've seen a lot of people do this really successfully. My concern is, I don't know what this does over time. I know it does off gas a bit, but that's really an R value thing. I just don't know what, construction adhesive on this or even that that spray adhesive that goes on here I, I don't know what it does over time and I don't know if that's going to be a weak contact point for the whole floor um, so we decided not to do this I'm sure many of you have done it and it's been very successful so I'm not talking down about it I just I don't know enough about it so we're staying away from it another thing we tried was with one by two so our thought was can we put one by twos in these depressions and then sandwich uh, insulation between those. And it seemed like a good idea. My concern is that this is pretty thin, so a screw, if it goes in halfway, is really only going in about 3 8 of an inch, so I don't know how much bite it's gonna have. So um, for that reason, also we're 5'7 and 5'3, so if we add another 3 quarters of an inch to the floor, really doesn't matter, we've got plenty of headroom. So what we've decided to go with is pressure treated 2 by 2s and we were able to get these in 12 foot lengths, which is nice because it spans the entire length of the van so we don't have to have multiple pieces combined. We will put these in these lower areas, these little channels. Between them will go our insulation and on top of that will be our plywood. So we've got an R value of five, R value of almost two, and an R value of almost one. Now I do know I've created a thermal bridge here between the wood and the, and the metal, so any heat that wants to escape rather than go through this insulation can just go through the wood and it's a much more direct path. I know I've done that but um, we're choosing to accept that just because we like the fact that we get a little more stability and a little more bite with these two by twos in there. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is build the piece that's going to go right here along this edge and then we want to build the piece that's going to go along that sliding door. Uh, my thought is those are the ones that, you get, that you're going to see when you come into the van from either side. So I want to make sure those are nice and flush because we'll probably end up putting molding or something against it. So to fit this piece, this ridge right here seems like a logical spot to end the floor, this lifted area. So what I've done is I took a piece of 2x2, two two, I cut it for this, lip, this edge right here, also because the van floor lifts up. Put a little notch and you'll have to measure that out how, how it is specifically for your van and it seems to fit pretty well in here so that piece is accounted for and now we'll move on to next to the sliding door this piece was a little bit more complicated so we've got three things this is going to sit right on the edge right behind this so it's going to sit back here so we've got three things we got to account for You've got sort of an angle where it meets the wheel well. You've got this framing member here, and you've got this framing member here. So what I did was I rounded off that edge so it sits flush against that. Now I have seen some people actually put two pieces here. So one piece ends here, the next piece starts here. 
I wanted to keep it as one. I thought it would be uh, a little stronger that way. So what I did was I basically notched this out with a chisel until it fit nice here and it fits over there as well. So that seems pretty good. Um, I may have to... This does seem to lift also as well, so the floor kind of curves up. So I may take a table saw and just take off a little off this corner right here so this sits nice and flat. But so far I think it's pretty good, and now we're ready to start the rest of the floor. And now I'm going to start laying in these uh, long pieces. I think I'm going to start with these five, measure them, cut them, make sure they're, they're good, and then I will move out from there because I don't know when I put these back if they're going to shift a little bit, so I don't want to cut them all. I'll start with these five and go from there. Oh, one thing to note on these things, this bulkhead area, as it gets back here, it starts to raise up. So you probably... We're probably going to have to cut a little notch in the bottom of each of these pieces. You can see it starts lifting off as we get closer. So we're going to cut just a little notch here to allow that and then cut that side to length. That's it. All right, that's good so far. Nice and tight. This one could have probably been a little bit longer, but we'll live. Um, now I'm going to figure out what needs to go in here and in this section and then cross some cross pieces and we will be good. All right, so we are done because as you can see, it's about to get dark and I'm starving. So check out what we got. I think it looks pretty good. A lot better than it did this morning. We've got these issues on the on the side here. The very side of the van seems to kind of the wall seems to start to the floor seems to start to move up. So I think I've got to um, maybe take a piece of two by four, two by two, run it through a table saw so it kind of uh, bevels one edge, and I'll be able to stick it there, there, and over there. In that, in that edge and uh, it'll be nice and flat but that is it we'll catch up to you tomorrow bye